Okay, so place in a large bowl, just like this one, your one pound eight ounces of flour, or 680 grams, 0.5 of salt, or 13 grams, and some margarine as well, that's about the uh, 44 grams of marge. And what you need to do is mix all this up into breadcrumbs. So get it all worked in with your fingertips using the breadcrumb method the crumbing method as they call it just work all that in there it's important to keep everything nice and warm um, when you're when you're baking and just rub that in together with your fingertips just like you would do if you're making pastry other kinds of goodies. Just want to work all that in there. Try to just use your fingertips. So it's all worked in. Should be okay. Nice and worked in, nice and fine. Okay. So wash my hands. Right now, once you've worked all that into a nice fine breadcrumbs. Take a sachet of your yeast. This is what you find, just a regular sachet. It's called fast action dried yeast. You can buy it fresh as well in uh, your local bakery. And with your sugar, uh, put it in another place in another bowl and just sprinkle in the yeast. liquid this is where I have the, the warm water uh, well I will warm it up now um, it's 400 mils of water there uh, 50 mil of milk and also it's a nice secret ingredient always helps improve the texture of the bread and the flavor as well it's a little teaspoon of vinegar there and I'm just going to warm that up for about the microwave just for about nearly a minute so once you've warmed the uh, water and the milk uh, to just a very slight warm temperature add then to the yeast and the sugar Just give that a little whisk up. Use your fingers, make sure all those pieces of yeast are well dissolved. Just make so you can see there some of the remainder of the yeast. And once that's fully dissolved, wash my hands. Now we can add to the bread. Now I usually make a little well, a well in the center. And then pour in the warm liquid. So, with a fork. I would use a fork, it's uh, a lot messier than putting your hands in there. And just stir all that together pretty quickly and you'll see it all coming together slowly. Not just mixing it too hard, just make sure the edges scrape around. It's best 
just cut all the ingredients and uh, you'll see it's all looking quite stiff and lumpy at the moment. And just get a little bit of flour for your hands and then just press knead all this together. Just give it a good punching like so. And that'll all just now come together. It'll be slightly sticky and warm, that's what you're looking for. And it's quite slightly yellow as well, but that's, that's normal. Just a little bit of flour. And then onto a floured board. This is where you knead the dough. Now it's all in one lump. See, it's quite rough looking at the moment. But once you knead that together, use the bottom of your palm of your hand there. And you just knead that for a good two or three minutes. Oops, doesn't be too long. Get a little bit more flour there. See it's coming together slightly smooth looking now, already in a light colour. This is your work in the dough, it just makes the texture become smoother each time, a little bit of flour each time. See now, it's folded in with your bottom of your hands. be quite tough at the moment but see it's going a slightly sort of pale colour now it's as smooth let's work it into the middle each time and then you you have your pretty smooth piece of dough just roll it up with curl it in like so, a bit more flour there. You shape it into a nice ball. And another small bowl for your weighing scales bowl. Just a little bit of flour on the top as well. Place it in a, a bowl. And with a, with a nice clean tea towel, just make sure it's just going to wet the tea towel a little bit with warm water. Bring the towel out. And then just place over the container and then place this then in the slightly warm oven uh, for half an hour. It's also a good idea to warm your tin up as well, uh, a well greased bread tin. Just like that, put that in there as well. Like I said, it's always very important to keep everything um, warm, even the tin, even the surface you're kneading the dough on. Okay, now time's up. That's the 30 minutes of proving. Now what, what's been going on here now is, while this has been proving in the oven, you'll see it's obviously doubled in size, very sticky and warm. There's been a lot of gases uh, that have been produced by the yeast and the sugar and salt. A bit of a biological action going on inside that. 30 minutes time. So what I'm going to do now is turn that out onto a floured board again. Just carefully prise that out. So it's full of air. Just like that. 
very it's very light and springy now full of gas bubbles now we just need to punch the air expel all that air out of the dough you don't even hear the, the air being dispersed once I press have a listen slight little squeaking noise you can hear you just need to expel all that air again punch it all out that flour as well punch all that air out You can see it's looking quite smooth now. And then just roll it up into a slight ball. Be careful not to break that skin on top. You don't want to break the skin that it's formed. You see the slight little, little air pockets there. I don't know if you can see them. Now you want to mould it into a loaf shape I try to get it from the round shape that you just did into a slight a bit of flour as well into a slight rectangle shape rough rectangle exactly a rectangle shape and then just make sure the ends are folded in a little bit just like so and then you want to roll this then just slightly roll it as tight as you can just roll it up so the seam then is going to be underneath once you've folded this in quite tight as tight as you can until you've got this sort of elongated loaf shape you can see the little tiny pockets of air there but that will create a nice nice texture now in your warm tin we want and we've proven to be bread. Pop in your loaf shape into that nice warm grease tin and just press just firmly into the tin. Being careful not to break that skin. Now to finish off what I'm gonna do um, is Get the damp tea towel again. Just wet it once again. And then just get some flour and just sprinkle over the top just a little bit, not too much. And then once again cover the loaf with the tea towel again and this goes in the oven well not in the oven just yet but in a very slight warm place once again for another 30 minutes and this will be the final proof now I'm actually going to place this in the sunshine it's obviously sunny day to day and this is in the living room as long as it's warm and uh, that should give it a good final proof. And while that is proving, uh, put the oven to about 220 degrees centigrade. 